I am so jacked. Oh my God. Not only did I make, uh, I don't know. I just got to explain it. I just got to explain it. This is the craziest shit I think I found. And I don't think anyone has found this. And I just kind of walked myself into it. But hey, let me show you what I think I have found. Okay. So I, I was going to make this video expanding on 1012. I still feel like I could be wrong about that date. However, I don't know because based on what I'm about to show you, it's, it's all pointing to uh, some, you know, this is going to answer a lot of questions a lot of people have had for the last few weeks um, regarding some tweets we've seen. So expanding on 10, 12, 21, um, let's, let's take a look at this shit. So a quick note, um, due to Columbus Day on Monday, money market funds uh, will not be able to redeem anything, um, which jacks me further for the 10, 12 date. Um, so there's that. And I'm going to expand on this hypothesis by bringing in institutional ownership for the bond QSIP number that we're um, talking about, as well as today's news update on the specific bond that I found. Oh, God. Okay, so uh, before we get started, I know a lot of you have some questions about bonds in general. So basically, through the Treasury, um, they have what's called a Treasury bill, and it is considered a marketable security. Now, marketable securities can be purchased at original issue or on the secondary market for as little as $100. At, at original issue, Treasury sells new securities to the public using an auction process. To participate in an auction, you can place a bid directly with the Treasury using Treasury Direct or bid through a bank or broker. Previously issued securities are bought and sold on the secondary market. Now, previously issued is the key word here. We're about to get into some wild shit. This is about to take a crazy turn you're not even expecting. Um, now we look at the T bills. That's what we're looking at. Whenever I show you the the, the T bill with the auction date and the maturity date, um, that's what I'm showing you. It's a Treasury bill. It's a short term security that matures in one year or less from their issue date. T bills are purchased for a discounted price, and when they mature, investors receive the full face value. Treasury bills are sold in four week, three week, or I'm sorry, four week, thirteen week, twenty six week, and fifty two week maturities. A shorter term bill. A cash management bill can be purchased only through banks and brokers. The maximum purchase amount for the treasury bill is $5 million for non-competitive bids. So keep that number in mind, $5 million. Convertible bonds. Let's talk about them. A convertible bond pays fixed income interest payments, but can be converted into predetermined number of common stock shares. The conversion from the bond of, to stock happens at specific times during the bond's life and is usually at the discretion of the bondholder. A convertible bond offers investors a type of hybrid security that has features of a bond, such as interest payments, while also having the option to own the underlying stock. The only problem with this is that the issuer would have to work with the SEC in order to issue these via a spray. Oh, wait a minute. Brian Cohen is working with the SEC. Via the prospectus, we, we got an indication that he's working with the SEC. They wanted to see some documents, um, and they did not expect it to adversely impact the company. Now, get a load of this shit. Remember GameStop's last offering? Remember this prospectus? Well, remember, uh, if you go to this one page right here, it says, we may issue stock purchase contracts representing contracts obligating holders to purchase from us and sell to the holders. A, speci a specified or varying number of shares of our common stock or preferred stock at a future date or dates. The price per share and the number of shares may be fixed at the time the stock purchase contracts are entered into. And lastly, highlighted down here, the stock purchase contracts may require holders to secure their obligations under the contracts in a specified manner. Now, guess what date this was supplemented? Supplemented. June Ninth, the same day as the shareholder meeting. Plan of distribution. We may sell these securities being offered hereby in one or more of the following ways. Directly to investors, including through a specified bidding, auction, or other process. To investors through agents, directly to agents, or to broker dealers, yada, 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 underwriter, at the market. What we want to pay attention to is auction or other processes, and then through a combination of any such methods of sale. So keep in mind that $5 million number from a slide ago. Keep in mind this date. Keep in mind auction or other process. And then keep in mind the convertible bonds that must be uh, filed for through the SEC. Now, this is where it gets crazy. Because guess, guess where this shit is found? 
That is right. On page 13 of the Perspectos for June 9th. Ain't that crazy shit. Now, it gets even crazier. Because guess what day the auction date was for the, this bill we're talking about? June 9th, 2021. Guess, remember that $5 million number? $5 million number, maximum award, 5 million shares. Guess why that would have to be the case? $1 per share, money market funds, have to keep that nav at a dollar. Holy shit. Is this what Ryan Cohen's been doing? Is it? Is it? I'll tell you one thing. There's a lot of things that line up here. And to jack your tits and to top it all off, these are your buyers for the bond. Let's start from the bottom. JNL Series Trust, Columbia Funds, Fidelity, JNL, T Row, JNL, Columbia Funds, UBS Securities, Fidelity, Dreyfus Treasury Securities, Government Cash Management Portfolio, BlackRock, BlackRock, Fidelity, JNL, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, UBS Series, American Century Government, you know, all the people in GameStop's 13 Fs. So, State Street, HSBC. <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on, y'all. What? Are, come on. Oh, and by the way, this tweet. Guess which? Guess what the following tweet was after this? This one. Remember the one that linked back to the twenty fourth of August, uh, when the last bond matured. So, is this what he's been trying to tell us? Don't know. But there sure is a lot more proof than telling us to go FOMO our shares in a computer share for no reason. So, holy shit. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I mean, this shit's... Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's all money market funds in there. I mean, that's, that would make sense. Five million shares at a dollar per share, that would make it able to participate in this auction. And then as far as, you know, GameStop did make billions in equity, so I'm sure that was worked out somehow. But again, a lot of shit's pointing to this. So let me know what you think. I, I just jacked my tits for like the next three weeks. In a nutshell, I firmly believe Ryan Cohen is working with the SEC. I believe that they're converting their, uh, they're using convertible bonds to help the whoever buy some time until the stock split, which explains the tweet almost perfectly. So anyways, it is what it is. I could be wrong. I fully am aware of that. Um, but I mean, hey, this shit is what I love to do. This is the shit I love to do. Let me know what y'all think.